Let's go here. Let's get the night out. That looks like left hand driving because it doesn't feel too supported. I suppose in a way the night can take, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Ah, they must have seen me make the move. So I'm going to attack the queen. It's defended with the knight. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Just push this pawn up, making space for bishop either here or here. Probably here. Could bait a pawn down. Okay, they've moved, so I'm just going to make space for our castle in. See how that looks. I'm actually going to just take the knight off the board. Castle into the into the line of fire. Chomping at the bit to get around towards our king. My little lazy bishop, bishop needs to get into action. And there's no point going here. So we are going to hit the bishop. It's not going to take too kindly to that. Take the pawn. Queen comes back to defend the bishop. No, we'll take the pawn We're on the rook. It's one of those where, okay, the knight is there, but what else is it doing? Is it going to get trapped? So we may need to think about bringing it back down before he starts pushing this pawn, blocking the knight's passageway back. So we'll bring the knight back. I couldn't see anything else. And we still got space to move back. What's his knight thinking it's doing? Is it looking to come here? Has it got anything on us? No. We're looking to come here, attacking the pawn. Could we do this just to stop any of that action? Or do we have something better? King, dark squares, knight. I don't think so. So I think just moving the pawn here just to say, well, we're stopping any of this action. Can't really see what the knight move was. Unless, of course, he's making space for the bishop to attack the knight. But we've got a safe space to come back to. Before we go running, yes, definitely. Yeah, let's just bring it back. Weakest pawn out of all of mine is this. Queen is supporting it, but probably need to try and hit it. Yeah. Bishop, bishop. It's lazy bishop, get working. Let's bring it here so maybe the knight can come here to maybe try and make this pawn a bit stronger. beating us to the punch but let's go here anyway next weakest area that they'll potentially be looking to try and attack is around this area here for now focusing on this one so we can't really push there because he's got his knight he's got his pawn there he's got his rook there might just be a little bit of this but we have to be careful because the white square bishop's going to come here might even come there before we even get off so yeah a bit sketchy at the moment at the minute 
playing backward, we are actually plus one after all those exchanges. We do hope they've given us an x-ray through to their queen. Like we said, they're potentially going to be trying to push these down and they're going for the cheaper here. So we might as well move the king across. I don't think there's any, oh, hold on before I do that. Let's just sink the knight in here and get the bishop off the board. We might not even need to rush to take the bishop off the board. Is there a better position that we can keep maneuvering on we don't have a white square bishop queen's gone all the way back could use this knight to block but this pawn is going to drop if it does drop knight can go here with the support of the queen is it really causing enough destruction though i think we're just taking the bishop off the board don't want to get too clever and then maybe just sit the knight here Pawn drops, we do have the option of pushing here. Can't really squeeze in there though, can we? We could just lock it down, which would be a little bit trite for us because then I suppose the knight can move here. Mm. None of this because he's got the two rhinoceros heads there. None of that. This is the weak pawn that they're going to be targeting. Like we said, the bishop's going to come shooting here. So can we prevent any of this somehow? Could do by pushing this pawn, because then if the bishop comes here, the rook can take. I didn't really want the rook staying here. I wanted to move the rook across here. So uh, we'll have to see how that pans out. Might end up having to bring the rook up like this, protecting the pawn. That's where the force is going to come, I think. Yes, what did I just say? I'm going to double up. Bishop is protecting. That is a saving grace. Uh, do, do we carry on with the knight? Kind of putting pressure onto the pawn, even though the rook is protecting at the minute. Then we can come in here and get the bishop off the board. which is the piece that's going to cause us problems here, isn't it? So try to look on the blind spots, look at what the potential strengths are. And the diagonal, it's moved it out of the way anyway, so it's not in the fork. So what am I thinking? Trying to get the queen across, does that cause any trouble? Not really. Yeah, the rook's down. Okay, so we could attack the queen. Pawn's going to be in the middle. And it could get challenged. Can always just bring the knight back. But then his bishop can take and we take. Let's just bring it back. If he takes, we take. Maybe it opens a bit of a space for the rooks to get active. So it's like they saw all of the attempt of that knight coming here and um, getting a fork. So they did the right moves, did lots of um, preemptive movements. Good touch. He's going for a battery with the queen and the bishop and such. Right, so let's see. We don't want to disappoint them. Let's bring the queen here. Again, that doesn't, it just doesn't look lethal, does it? Doesn't look lethal because there's nothing really that it's doing apart from put it, putting a potential check here. But then we have to move out of the way. So we'll do that. If they drop, then the knight can take. So they've saved the bishop. They've got angles here and they've got angles here. A sleeping knight. 
It's not in the. Ooh. Let's take. Queen takes. Rook defends by going back here. Let's just do this for now, anyway. It's a shame that that's supported by this pawn. Okay, so what's the plan? Can't go here because the knight's there. We can come here. It's on a white square. And we've got out, out ability, but it lands on the queen. So maybe that's not a good square to go to. Just attacks us with the rook. But we can go backwards and forwards. Come all the way back. Okay. Okay, so they've got the pawn back. We could attack their queen. Where are we moving the queen? Here looks more menacing, but it's not really doing anything. Can it not support the dark square bishop somehow? There, and then he comes and attacks us. Oh, there, and he just comes here. Then we have to come all the way back. Hmm. What else is there to do? Come on. Magic, magic, magic. Where's the magic? Bishop, bishop, bishop. Let's bring the queen back. Maybe the king comes here so they can push on. What's his queen got round the back? It's got this pawn here. So he's snapping up pawns. So we were a pawn up and now he's got two pawns because of our movements. I don't see a clear way through. Need to make space. He's not taken yet. We can't, re we can't really support it. Let's come here, he just takes us. Hmm. Ooh, so this rook comes here attacking this pawn. It's got no protection. If the queen takes, we take. Rook's come to support. It's not got any protection on. We can't get to it. This rook can't come here because it gets taken. Could double up on the pawn, on the rook, sorry. So if we bring this rook here, Magic can always bring his rook down as well, can't he? Mm -hmm. And something's telling me I'm all right though, you know? Let's bring the queen here. He takes the pawn, we come here with the queen, go for an exchange, get the rooks across. Yeah, so he takes queen up, doesn't have to take, he can just escape. And it's not like we're going to take the pawn with the queen. But the, because that, excuse me, because that rook doesn't have any protection, we could take here. Mind you, the rook could take there, but then the queen would take the rook. But that's not happening because the knight has moved here, stopping that activity. So the next thing that we want to do is just hit their queen. It's protecting the pawn. For a brief moment. Oh, they're not playing ball. They want to play clever. Interesting. So this, like we said, this um, rook doesn't have any protection on, but if we did take, then the rook would take, and our queen's not close enough to take it. And that knight's in the way. So we can hit the queen with a small piece, with a pawn, while we're thinking. Of 
got 52 minutes. <laughs> Crikey. Yeah, Queen's moved. Dark Square Bishop can challenge it. I'm not putting much thought into that because it's a pretty straightforward attack. Obviously, it's going to run. It's got choices. And then we can sorry, change our trajectory. Potential coming here. There's no pieces supporting the queen being here. The only piece that can do that is, I believe, the knight. So if the knight came here, and it would need to be in some this type of position or this type of position for that to work. So I don't think there's any point in that being there, really. Which is good for us. Right, let's stay near our king though. We were thinking of coming across here and going around here, but uh, I don't think that's lethal. Unless of course he starts pushing pawns, maybe. Yeah, this all the only other option is the getting this pawn down and this pawn here, and then it's checkmate. Yeah, so if the push, queen's not gonna take, the pawn takes. So if they get doubled up here with the rooks, then they'll have some type of force with the pawn. Bishop takes, rook takes. Yeah, so they'll open up our king area. So I think that's the type of thing they're going to do. So if we swing across here, we can envisage doing them doing this. And we go here, they start pushing. Yeah, so I don't think we're going to do that. Feels nice, but no. Let's bring the bishop here and just see the see the queen off before they start getting giddy. Yeah, the knight's coming over, but like we said, it it has to be in one of these impossible positions. And just hit the queen. It'll take itself off now. Maybe not blocking the um, rook. So we've got an x-ray through. So all we need to do is hit, but then the queen takes the pawn. Okay, it's hitting our queen. And we're not going to get sighted in here. And he's hitting the pawn here. interesting situation let's just take it off the board why are we going through all that confusion there's nothing else that can help it apart from like we said the pawn getting here and the queen coming here and going here maybe i don't mind doubling my pawns in front of the king but it is really squeezing into an end game do we want to do that at this moment in time again that rook doesn't have any protection on it Maybe don't want to go too far. Maybe just hit the queen with the pawn. Just to let them know we're still in the game. He drops here again. That's going to make me laugh. Oh, nice long game. <laughs> they have gone there as well. I personally don't see the benefits for that at all because it doesn't have anything supporting it. Like I said, I think they're just going to keep trying and pushing this pawn. So I'm just going to bring the queen across and, and hit it. I could have done the pawn move first, actually. Oh, it's um, trying a rook rover thing, but the rook is going to be behind. He's going to be there and try that sort of stuff. Let's hit the queen. OK, 
Okay, so we do have a fork with the pawn. So a pawn hitting the queen and hitting the pawn. Pawn takes, queen takes, leaning on the queen again. But the rook would come across if we did that and the pawn takes and then we take. And the rook comes here, it's x-raying through to the king, basically pinning us to the king. So we can't really do that. We can. Boom. Takes. But we can just take with the pawn. Yep. Let's hit. Still annoyed. This rook's had no protection on it for ages, but we just can't get to it. So it doesn't have to take, you can just move the queen. And if we take, then he's, match if he's moved the queen down, then the rook's no longer supported, so the queen will be able to take the rook if it did go there. So it's getting pretty tense. Take with the pawn. Smaller pieces on the higher piece. And take the rook. Queen's taken. Attack the... Is it going to be putting a check on our king? So we might as well hit the queen. Because he's going to be taking this pawn with a check on our king. So it's even Stevens, materially. Doesn't want to give up this queen at all, does he? Right. So we can support, we're pushing the pawn here. His rook attacks our queen. Is there anything else before we do that? Rook can attack their queen after that. Okay, so we'll support the pawn and then bring the rook here. But I think they'll beat us to the punch by bringing their... Rook across to attack the king, queen. If we slide here, then we've got like a check on the king. So a small check. We'll go here, like we said. But we've also got a check on their queen. I don't think that check is going to be much really, because he just hides in the corner. So it's elements of coming here, attacking this pawn. Can support. Or oh, is he going for a queen exchange? <clears throat> going for cleverness. Goes for the queen exchange. We take rooks here. Oh my gosh, they have as well. They have as well. This pawn is kind of free at this moment. It's proposed as a take back because there's a little bit of an error, I believe, in the situation. But I might not be taking advantage of it. You know, if I take, then the rook takes. It's on the pawn. Yeah. If I go and protect, he can then just go back and protect his pawn. So I don't know what the issue is. Am I missing something? Is there a checkmate that I'm missing? I'm checking, I'm checking, I'm checking. What else is there? Could we attack his um, queen? No, because he can just take with a check. Sometimes they do like, um, you know, propose a take back because it makes you think that, oh, they've made a mistake. And really, they haven't made a mistake. They just do that so that you move dead quick and then you make an error. I don't think there's any mistake they've made. I think it's going to be pretty even Stevens. So I'm going to take. Because it's going to be on the pawn. Yeah. If we took, then he takes. And then he's got like a passer. I don't see anything else. Yeah, so I'm just going to... Oh, but if I do that, he can just come down and he's on both pawns. So I don't see why they asked for a take back. Do you know what I mean? They're not losing out. So we take, he takes. And then I suppose we can come back and just 
defend the pawns. Yes. Let's take. He takes. Don't want to put a check on his king because it's going to bring him down. Could attack this pawn. He drops or attacks. He comes down. We have to go up. He comes back up again. In fact, we, if we come across a bit, then he comes up, then the rook could come down again. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think i um, going to attack the pawn. He goes down anyway. So I'm going to go here, like we said. And if he comes back up, then we can bring the rook back down. And attack. Oh, it's not playing ball. This player does lack and does not like exchanging, does he? Going to attack the pawn. Just could be a draw. Just come back down and attack the rook. And I'm going to attack the pawn. Threefold repetition. That'll work for me. Thanks for the game. Nice game.